So with investments, when is the right time to pull out of a stock or to buy more stocks? And this is something that a lot of people need to pay attention to, especially if you're an investor or if you're looking to jump into the stock market. And so I'm going to leave you with three tips in this video. The first tip is knowing what's going on on a global scale and knowing what's going on here in the country. So in the United States, we're dealing with the coronavirus and the elections and so many other different factors that, you know, play into the trend of how the stock market fluctuates. And so knowing what's going on, knowing what's, you know, what 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 the nation's situation is under or, you know, knowing what we're, you know, going into as a as a nation and as a whole just globally is definitely key to knowing if you're going to make money or if you're going to lose money. So please pay attention to the news, please pay attention to what's going on just around you, please. That's going to definitely help you in the long run. And so the second thing I want to point out is if you're uh, looking to invest in a company or if you've already invested into a company, do your research on it. Make sure that you keep a close eye on what that company is doing going forward, how that company has done in the past, and look at their portfolio. Look at their you know, portfolio, you know, five years ago, three months ago, um, a week ago, and even today, make sure that you're just keeping an eye on things because you don't want to lose money. And if you're making money, you want to know when you're going to get the return on your investment. So let's say you get a million dollars, you know, today by not looking at that, you know, particular company or by not looking at the stock market, you would have never known because what if you lose it tomorrow? So all I'm saying is make sure that you stay aware um, on, you know, what the stock market is doing and especially what um, the companies that you've invested in are doing. My last and final point is, you know, when the stock market is, you know, increasing and decreasing, when is it the right time to pull out of a stock or to buy more stocks? And so with my uh, mentors, I've learned over time um, that it, it totally depends on what your budget is like. It totally depends on how you live financially and how much money you have and different things like that. And it's okay if, you, if you're on both ends of the scale. So if you have more money, of course, you have more room to risk, um, risk your investments and risk your money, quote unquote, and uh, you know, just play around with different companies, right? And what I mean by that is, let's say the stock market goes down. Um, some people that have a smaller, um, I guess, budget would you know, freak out and be like, hey, am I losing money or how do I get my money back but people that have more money they tend to buy a lot more stocks when the when the um, stock market goes down or if that particular stock that they're invested in you know goes down and when it increases they you know put money in their pocket or they let it sit and let it you know just gain um, um, a portfolio just over time um, and so um, the last thing I want to talk about is when you're pulling out of a stock um, it's also important that you know whether you want to, you know, go back into that stock after, you know, that particular stock has decreased or if you just want to pull out of it altogether. So after you pull out of a stock, please pay attention to that particular company still. Like, just don't pull out of it and just turn your back away from it. Make sure that you keep an eye on it. And so those are my tips on investing. And I use um, someone to handle um, one of my portfolios. And I use um, the Robinhood app, which is totally free to um, see um, another set of portfolios that I've um, put together for myself. And uh, it allows me to see the stock market real time, uh, hour by hour, minute by minute. And I can pull out of a stock or buy more stocks whenever I want to. And so if you want a free stock, um, please inbox me and I will send you the direct link to my personal uh, Robin Hood app um, portfolio and you will be able to get a free app. And so if this is good if you're trying to learn the stock market because it's, with this free app, you can kind of you know do the trial and error thing on how you want to move forward with investing. And so yeah, those are my tips and I hope this has been beneficial to you guys. Let me know in the comments how you guys enjoyed this. All right, see ya.